Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today I have a learning lesson for you. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a picture and embedding it into an old analog television. Now one of the things that you get when you do that is you get those dreaded lines, those interlaced lines that we used to get on analog televisions or if you have a 1080i television you still get those lines when you take pictures with the camera because they pick up all those lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to learn a few things as we embed this picture into this old analog television set. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to go online just type in television set and find yourself a good picture of a very old television set. It's relatively easy. Google has quite a few different images that you can search and find those analog television sets. Now, I want to go ahead and thank IDHREN over at Flickr for letting me use this picture under the Creative Commons license. So I went ahead and I picked up this picture of this girl and I decided I'm going to go ahead and show my viewers how to use the halftone pattern. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I did. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to revert this image back to the original television set and then I'm going to go to the original picture of the girl and I'm going to revert that. Now of course you do not have to revert your images I just do that because I've already done them for you and I'm going back and starting from scratch. So we have this picture of this girl right here and what I want to do is I want to add the interlaced looking lines. Now one of the first things that we need to do is we need to command J if you're on a Mac or control J if you're on a PC. That is to duplicate your layer. We love duplicating our layer because there's a lot of things that we can do with that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my default colors by selecting the D on the keyboard. That will put black in the foreground and white in the background. Then we're going to go over and we are going to apply a filter to that particular layer by going to filter, sketch, and then halftone pattern. Now what the halftone pattern does is it either puts halftoning black and white lines or dots. Sometimes you see these dots when they are printing on a newspaper you'll notice that they have the little dots on there and you'll see, usually see these in newspaper pictures. But for this particular one we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the lines. Once we're happy with that, we can adjust the size. I want you to adjust the size so that your lines are approximately the same size as mine. Now I'm using 2 and 5. That's a good starting point. When you're happy with that, go ahead and select OK. The next thing we have to do is we have to make the colors come back through. In order to do that, we are going to change our blending modes on this layer because it turned it into a black and white. So go ahead and select where it says normal and we are going to change that to overlay. Now it's a little bit too contrasty so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the opacity or how much of the effect gets applied and I'm going to dial that down to about 65 on mine. So there we have it we are now done with this particular picture. Now I'm going to jump over to the television picture. Hopefully you were able to find one of those on Google. It's very easy to do so. I'm going to drag that picture from my photo bin. Now if you don't have your photo bin open, you can just click on this photo bin right there and it will show you all the images that you have open. And we're going to drag that photo on top of this one. And what that's going to do is that's going to take whatever it was in the other photo and add it as a new layer on top of that one. And then we need to adjust the location or the position of that so it's above the actual glass part of the television. Once you have that, now we're going to make the layer invisible by clicking on the eyeball on that particular layer. That's going to make that layer invisible. Now what we need to do is we need to make a selection on our television set and we're going to apply a mask to this. So I'm going to pick the quick selection tool right here and then I'm going to draw inside here and pick the glass part of the television. Now I've been playing around with mine so mine's actually changed a little bit. I'm going to go into my options and select add to selection. You can see now that there is a plus sign. Mine had a minus sign but now has a plus sign inside my brush. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the television. Now it didn't do a very good job especially when it came over to the edges. That's why I had my subtract selected. 
Now I'm going to zoom in to different parts of my picture by hitting the command or the control plus and what that'll do is that will zoom in onto that particular area. And then I want to subtract the parts that are not glass. So I'm going to slide this brush down right along the edge and it's for the most part going to do a pretty good job of trying to subtract the metal parts or even the plastic parts of the television right there as I go along. Now I need to take this once again and I need to keep subtracting until I got most of this subtracted here. We're just going to keep going around. Now it gets a little tricky in this area right here. I can I'm not going to be able to do much about that. So if we hit the command or the control zero, that will take us back to the original view or the original magnification. In your toolbar options, you can see right here that there is a refine selection edge right there. And if we click on this, we can kind of get an idea of how our selection is going to look. Now I'm going to take mine and I'm going to smooth mine so it doesn't have all the jagged edges over there. Now we can go ahead and we can fix this later on but for right now I'm going to select OK. I know it's not a very good job. Then we're going to click on our layer, the one that has the picture of the girl or whatever it is that you chose and I'm going to make that visible again. You can reposition the girl if you want to but I'm happy where the picture's at right now. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to add a layer mask to mine and what that's going to do is it's going to mask that part of the picture out. And there we have it. The picture is now embedded into the television. Now we wanted to clean up some of these areas over here and if you remember how do we magnify our image? Well we hit the command plus right over here and we can come over and we can see those areas that we want to clean up. Now if I paint with white it's going to add to this selection right over here. So I can come over here as long as I'm on the layer mask, select on my paintbrush right there and I want to make sure that I'm painting with white so I have white in my foreground right there and then I'm going to come over and I'm just going to paint some of this area in and just kind of clean it up just a tiny bit right over here now I'm not doing a very good job just doing the tutorial right now so you can go in there and you can make this as clean as you want to by going in there and actually painting really well. Now if you did a little bit too much you can always hit X on your keyboard what that does or you can hit these little arrows that will swap it to the black and you can come over here and you can clean up some of this area and black will subtract that part of your television screen right there. Let's go ahead and hit command zero if you remember that takes us back to the original magnification. It looks a little bit too vibrant even though we can see these lines in there now it's just a little bit too vibrant so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add an adjustment layer and kind of give it that green tint because as televisions get old they start to have a little bit of a green tint to that so let's go ahead and add an adjustment layer by clicking on the black and white cookie tool up here and we are going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Now what I want to do is I want to go over here and I want to hit colorize. As you can see it colorized it red as a default so I'm going to slide the hue and I'm going to slide it all the way over to kind of that icky green color right there. Not a real great looking green color and I'm going to do that and when I'm done with that I can hit the little X and get rid of that. Now the only problem is is my whole picture is now green. So what we need to do is we need to take the selection that we already made and we need to do another thing. And that is come over here, hold down the command or control key and what we're going to do is we're going to click on this layer right there. And what that's going to do is that's going to make and return the selection. It's going to return the ants to our picture. And then what I need to do is I need to fill that with the black color. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to go to edit, fill selection. I'm going to fill that with black right over here and there we have it. Oh no, I've got the green on the outside and I've got the color on the inside. Well that is a quick fix. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the marching ants first by hitting command or control D and that's going to get rid of our marching ants here. Then we're going to make sure that we're on this 
mask of the adjustment layer and then we're going to hit command I and what that's going to do is that's going to reverse the color part and then the hue and saturation. Now it's a little bit green right now so we're going to take our opacity and we're going to take that and we're going to dial that down just a little bit. Dial that down to about 50% kind of give it that greenish hue and then you notice that this is a very flat looking image there was some reflections on the television and now those reflections aren't there. Well in order to get those back we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the layer that has the girl and we are also going to dial that opacity down except on this one I'm only going to dial this one down to about I'd say about 65 percent or so and what that's going to do is that's going to get some of our reflection back here it's going to kind of muddy the picture up as if this picture was actually embedded in that television set. And there we have it. We're now done. If you wanted to go and you wanted to clean up this area a little bit more, you could go in there and paint with white and black on the layer mask and you could really clean that up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, and make sure to share this video with your friends. Cheers!